Sandokai. From west to east, unseen, flowed out the mind of India's greatest sage, and to the source kept true, as an unsullied stream is clear. Although by wit and dullness the true way is varied, yet it has no patriarch of south or north. Here born we clutch at things, and then compound delusion, later on by following ideals. Each sense gate and its object all together enter thus in mutual relations, and yet stand apart in a uniqueness of their own, depending and yet non-depending both. In form and feel, component things are seen to differ deeply. Thus our voices in inherent isolation soft or harsh. Such words as high and middle darkness match. Light separates the murky from the pure. The properties of the four elements together draw just as a child returns unto its mother. Lo, the heat of fire, the moving wind, the water wet, the earth all solid. Eyes to see, sounds heard, and smells, upon the tongue the sour, salty taste. And yet, in each related thing, as leaves grow from the roots, end and beginning here return unto the source, and high and low are used respectively. Within all light is darkness, but explained it cannot be by darkness that one sided is alone. In darkness there is light. But here again, by light one-sided, it is not explained. Light goes with darkness, as the sequence does of steps in walking. All things have inherent great potentiality. Both function, rest, reside within. Lo, with the ideal comes the actual, like a box, all with its lid. Lo, with the ideal comes the actual, like two arrows in mid-air that meet. Completely understanding herein the basic truth within these words. Lo, here, set up not your own standards. If from your experience of the senses basic truth you do not know, how can you ever find the path that certain is, no matter how far distant you may walk? As you walk on, distinctions between near and far are lost, and, should you lost become, there will arise obstructing mountains and great rivers. This I offer to the seeker of great truth. Do not waste time.